If you've ever wanted to cut out a tapped box or a jointed design made for a material thickness other than what you have, you know what a tedious process manually adjusting each part can be. With the release of Lightburn 1.3, we introduced a new tab and slot resizer tool to help with automating this process. This tool works with slots commonly found in 3D puzzles and tabs used with many boxes or drawers. It can even be used to resize rectangles used for joining sides together. Start by importing your design. You will need to know the lengths of the lines you are wanting to adjust. You can easily find the lengths by clicking the ruler icon in the left toolbar to activate the measurement tool. Highlighting over the tabs, we can see that the thickness this box has been designed for is 3mm, but I want to use it with 5mm thick plywood. Back in selection mode, click on the shapes that you want to resize. If you have shapes that are grouped together, you will need to ungroup them by clicking on the ungroup icon in the top toolbar. Next, click on the Tools drop-down menu and select Resize Slots in Selection to open the Resize dialog window. In this window, we will enter in the line size that we are wanting to adjust in the old material thickness text box. In my case, I measured the tabs as being 3 millimeters in depth, so I will enter 3. This tool will scan our selected shapes, looking for lines that match that value. We can see the lines that it has detected highlighted in red. The lines that we'll be moving are highlighted in blue with an arrow to show the direction of the move based on our current input. Enter the value you are wanting to resize the lines to in the new material thickness box. In my box, I entered five to adjust the lines from three millimeters to five millimeters. If there is a slight variance in the length of the lines you are wanting to adjust, you can add a tolerance value to accommodate this. We are able to adjust slot depth, slot width, or tab height. Toggling through these options will update the guides so we can quickly see what will be resized. Once we are happy with our selection, click OK to apply the resized values and update the design. Highlighting over the tabs with the measurement tool, we can see that we now have 5mm tabs and this box is ready to be sent off to the laser. The resize tool will let you know if your selection is grouped, contains incompatible shapes such as text, or open shapes which are also not compatible. If you are using design generators such as boxes.py, it will often add fillets or loops to corners which will not work with the resize tool. You can use Lightburn's radius tool to remove those fillets and the offset tool set to zero to remove the loops. Be sure to subscribe for more great videos.